Hello everybody, this is Faith Robin, the Sparkly Beater, and today we're going to be opening this jewelry jar. Uh, it came from a Goodwill boutique called Good Threads, and it was $29.99, but we got it on uh, Senior Day, so it was 20% off, which brings it to $24 um, and change with tax. So let's get into it and see what goodies are inside. Okay, I'll try to do this without damaging the jewelry inside. Okay, I think we can... Oh, stuff is stuck to the top, as usual. Okay, let's see what we have here. bit of uh, fuzz there. Okay, let's see what we have. Try to pull some of this out. Okay. All right. Uh, looks like we have a tangle. We'll start with the watch. Oh, this is a nice one. Okay. Actually, it's it's marked twenty nine ninety nine itself. The band has some wear. Let me see if I can get it open. Now it's a little tight. Can't get it up. It's uh, it's marked uh, Frank Frank Mueller, Geneve. It says Master of Complications, <laughs> number nine. Hmm has a very uh, unusual face. You can see that without any glare there. Very unusual face. A lot of buttons on the front here, on the side. Uh, probably just needs a battery. The crystal's not scratched. It looks very nice. Very nice. Okay, we'll put that aside. See, see what else we, we have. Okay, there's another little watch here. And oh, this is a swap watch. All the uh, crystals are there around the face. Uh, it's quartz. It probably just needs a battery as well. Stainless steel back. Uh, this is going to be nice for me to make a beaded bracelet for. I'm very excited about this. Uh, yeah, I'm going to make a bracelet to go with that. So, nice little swap watch. No. Hubby opened this for me, and uh, the band in oh. is genuine leather. Oh. Genuine leather. But it is kind of worn and beat up, so I think a new band would be nice on, on this one. Okay. So, let's see what else we have in here. Oh! Well, this is nice. These are um, beaded bracelets beaded bracelets let me see if you can this one is like a topazy these are glass beads so these are very nice and coincidentally these go with the swap watch so you just uh, fasten these on like this one here and one here and there you go so and then the same with this one this one would fit on the same way so it came with uh, two bands already very nice although I still think I would like to make my own beaded bracelet to go with the swap watch all right okay I'm curious as to what we have some kind of uh, memory memory wire bracelet here. Let's see what it looks like on. Actually, I think there are two of them. There's a black one and a kind of pinky red one. Really too big for my wrists. 
but there's two of those. Okay. And let's see what this is. We have some sort of black chain tangled up in here. Let's see if I can get it out without taking too much time. Uh, here we go. I think it may be part of the necklace. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. It looks like it's part of this necklace. It's actually hooked on both sides. Well, now that's rather unusual. I don't even think I can get this whole thing in frame. It does have a tag on it. It says Lucky Star Jewels. I don't know if you mm -hmm. can you read that? Lucky Star Jewels, but I'm not I'm really not sure about this. Uh, maybe okay, I think it goes something like this. It hooks up here and the black is part of the design. I think I can get this all in frame here. No. I think <laughs> it's a really unusual necklace. It's got these gold, these gold bars. Let's see if I can do something like this. It's got these gold bars and then this black chain, like that. Anyway, it ne the black chain needs to be untangled. It's kind of tangled up down here, so I've never seen anything like that. So, okay, let's see what else we have. Uh, earrings we'll do later once we match everything up. Pull some more stuff out. watches in here. Okay. So this one, this one's a wind up. Oh. It's got the day of the week and the date. Okay. So, now this one says Gucci. That's oh, interesting. Can, can you, is it clear? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. It says Gucci. The band, I think it's one of those that wraps around the wrist twice, but the band is literally falling uh, apart all over the cloth here. So the band definitely needs to be replaced. Uh, the back here says Gucci as well. And there's a sticker on here from Good Threads with the price on it. Let's look and see if this looks authentic uh, back here. I'm trying to get this off without Glare in your face. Let's see. Well, there is a logo here. Uh, let's see, is the logo coming up here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Mm -hmm. I think this just needs a good cleaning and a battery and a new uh, a new band. This band is awful. So, yeah, that's a nice find. Let me clean this mat a little bit from the, the band. It's just awful. It's shedding all over here. Ugh. Okay. All right. Here's another one. This is also a Gucci. And. The band, it's a bracelet style, like this. But the band is really well-worn, very well-worn. 
and I don't I don't know how this one could possibly be uh, changed out so I don't know what to do with quite what to do with that one all right let's see what else we have in here oh some old style vintage coconut heishi beets that they were tagged for $4.99 wow and it looks like there's some maybe some sponge coral on there and some metal spacers cool haven't seen anything like that since the 70s. Wow. Okay. Let's see what else we've got here. This is just one big tangled mess. All right. Try to get this out. I think I'm going to have to open it up to get it out of this tangle. Oh, this is delicate. We have some seed beads here, and uh, feels like acrylic, acrylic crystals. Move this out of the way here. Some tiny little seed beads here, some little seed pearls. These look like little wooden beads, and these feel like acrylic to me. So that's a delicate little piece right there. It's orange and yellow. Nice. All right. Let's see what else I can pull out here. Uh, there was no name on that piece, by the way. This piece is a, let's see, it has a name. Ah, this is Kenneth Cole. Nice. It's in pretty nice condition, too. Nice little brushed chain with an extender here and a lobster claw. Can't see the top. Keep going. There you go. Nice. Has a little bit of wear on it, but not much. Definitely still serviceable. Okay. I like that. Nice finding a name name piece in in a jar. Always very nice. Okay. Here is a pretty piece. Oh, I like this one. And these feel cold, so I believe these are glass. Yeah. These feel like glass. Let's see. I'm going to have to pull it up a little bit and kind of swirl it around here so you can see the whole thing. Pink, nice, nice, pretty color of pink. Probably, uh, I would say, probably an 18 inch necklace. And it has a, an extender on it. No name. Very nice. Okay. All right, let's see what else we have. Oh, this looks like an artisan made piece. It has um, seed beads in red and uh, little tiny satin red seed beads 
And then these uh, candy cane um, worked, glass worked pieces here. They're uh, very pretty. Nice. These are expensive beads. Really pretty. Nice piece. Very nice. Okay. Alright. Let's keep on going here. See what else we can get out of the jar. Do the lobster claw so we can get it out of the tangles. Oh, this is pretty. I'll take the tag off there. All right, very unusual chain on this one. Again, no name, but let's put it together. Has a nice focal. With some, uh, looks like, I think they're plastic, not wood, but different, very different. Looks like an eye <laughs> with these little bubbles hanging off of it. But look how unusual the chain is. It's like these slender pieces all linked together. Nice. Okay. Oh, there's a Betsy Johnson in here. Let's see if I can get it untangled. And it still has a tag on it. Oh my. Let's see if I can get it out. I got part of it out. Let's see. It seems to be stuck here with this one. Oh, that's an easy fix. Somehow the lobster claw just kind of grabbed onto it. Let's see. Okay. It does not want to budge. Oh, what is happening here? There we go. Okay. All right. Okay, here's our Betsy Johnson. Oh, it's got the cutest little turtles on it. Look. I can get them to lay right here. Oh, isn't that adorable? Little turtles and what look to be little uh, purple crystals. So if you're a big turtle fan, let me know. <laughs> yeah, it's tagged Betsy Johnson. So this is cute. Very cute. That's adorable. There's a whole necklace. Very sweet. Okay. All right. Now the necklace that it was stuck in <laughs> is a natural stone. I'm learning my stones, so I'm not quite sure what this is, but I will say it is very, very pretty. Um, I'm guessing it's some kind of maybe moss agate or picture jasper, not quite sure, but really, really pretty. And then it has these links in between with uh, beads on them in the middle 
little beads. So when it's hooked up, it's got a, a shepherd's hook on it. It looks like that. Wow, that is pretty. I've not seen anything like that. That is definitely uh, an artisan piece. Very pretty. I like the way that looks. Okay. Oh, and a druzy. Two druzies. Very, very tangled, though. Um, let's see if I can get these out. Out. Wow. Really tangled up in here. Some people don't mind watching untangling and some people hate it. I don't mind if it's an easy untangling, but if it's a tough one, I get a little impatient. This one might come undone easily. have this other one out. Okay, good. Now this is... <laughs> this is going to take some work, so I think I'm just going to show it to you and untangle it later. So you don't get bored. I think there are two or three tied up in here because I see different chains. <clears throat> yeah. I'm definitely seeing different chains. So. Okay. Yeah, we have two druzies and a crystal. And I think they're all kind of tied together here somehow. <clears throat> so this is what we have tangled up together. We've got this druzy, which is that gold dipped, very pretty, very pretty. And then we have this druzy, which is like three actually put together. Nice. Also gold dipped. The rough edge is on the side instead of facing front. And then we have this amethyst crystal, which is very pretty as well. And they're all tangled together. <laughs> and one of them has a hang tag with a starfish on it. So if somebody knows what the starfish is, Actually, I think there are two of them that have a starfish on them. If anybody knows what maker that is, please um, note in the comments below so I know because I'm not familiar with that particular maker uh, and I'm learning, so I would appreciate somebody commenting on that. But these are all very nice and they're all in very good shape. So, um, yeah, would like to know about that. Okay. And then, uh, what was tangled up in all of that was this necklace. Um, this looked like something that came out of World War II. <laughs> I, I mean, it looks like a tank of air uh, that a scuba diver would use. Uh, I have no idea. It has like a patina on it. And it says, it's got words on it. 
O S K L E N, Osklen, Osklen. I have no idea. It's on a uh, snake chain. You can see how long this chain is that it's on. And it, it has an extender and it also has a hang tag. Oh, look at that. That says Osklen. I am not familiar with that uh, jewelry maker either. So uh, if somebody could comment down below about this one as well, that would be helpful to me. Um, like I said, this to me this looks like a, a scuba tank. Maybe it is a scuba tank. I'm not a diver, so I, I've been scuba diving once in my life, so um, I have no idea what that is. Okay, so moving on. That was unusual. Uh, okay, moving on. Let's see, I have another earring here. I forgot where the other one... Oh, we have a match. Okay, so we have uh, two of these earrings. Little, uh, they're little daisies on posts. Let me get them together here for you. Little daisies on posts. Oh, one is broken right there. Oh, that's too bad. Well, I guess they'll go into a craft lot and repurpose them. I could make a pendant out of this one. Okay, so much for that. All right. And uh, let's see. Okay. Um, here's another unusual piece. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe it is a bookmark. I'm thinking it's a bookmark. Um, it has two beaded ends. They're really pretty. Uh, feather and these are glass stones, glass crystals. There are two of them. Weighted. They're, they're heavy. And then there's this thread in between. So I'm, I'm really thinking that 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 is a bookmark to be put between the pages. So let me know what you think about that. Okay. Wow. All right. Here's a, uh, another watch. I can work it. Oh, wow. This one's really blingy. And get it out of the tangles here. Which I think I can. There we go. There we go. Okay. Wow, look at this one. It's heavy. Oh, this is a Chico's. It is missing one stone right there, but I think that can be fixed easily. It's, oh, it's missing a couple here too, and I think those can be fixed. Yeah, let's see what it looks like on, if I can do this myself here. Let's see. I'll put this on. Wow, that's nice. That's really nice. So a few stones and a battery. 
and of a nice Chico's watch. Very pretty. Okay. All right, let's see what is next. Um, let's see, it looks like this necklace had come out of here. And it looks a little too shiny to be sterling. I was hoping there would be some sterling in here, but I'm not holding my breath. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Okay. It's not Mark Sterling. No. I've nope, not seen it. But, let's see. If your name has an S in it, it is a pretty pendant. It's a pretty necklace. And all the stones are there. So, nice chain is in good condition. Nice, pretty, just needs a little bit of shining up there. Okay, let's see what we have next. Ah, oh, here we go. Here is a blingy one. And I am not seeing, oh, okay. The, uh, the clasp on this, this one's a G with some very shiny stones and the clasp hooks down here instead of at the back so and it's uh, probably about 18 inches so that's that's pretty nice and shiny okay let's see what else we have in here Another tangle. What would a jewelry jar be without tangles? Right? Okay. Got it. Alright. Well, this one's a little confusing. Okay, I think this one is a double. sure about this one. I'm going to hook it there and say that <laughs> it's a very long, very, I'm, I'm going to show you, I'm going to start here, and it's long, 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 <laughs> there's the end. I suppose if you want, you could do that and wear it that way. And even that way I can't get the whole thing in frame. It, it has a very pretty link to it though, I think. I've never seen a link like that before. It's very pretty. And it's in great shape. It's like brand new. Like brand, just like brand new. Very, very pretty, but long, but long, very long. Okay. Let's see what I can get out next. Oh, all right. Oh, we have an Anne Klein. Here we go. A nice Anne Klein in great shape. Nice sparkle on it. Very pretty. This is what the back looks like. So I'm, I think that's a nice CZ there. It's not a rhinestone, definitely a CZ. I guess they call that a trillium cut when it's a three-cornered like that. Nice. All right. 
Oh, and here's the there's the AK. Okay. All right. Let's pull something else out of here. Okay. This one's unusual. I think we're missing the rest of the clasp. Let's see. Here. Yeah. Hmm. We're, we're missing the rest of the clasp. But since I do jewelry as well, I can put a, um, a hook on that or a lobster claw. That's not a problem. So I'm thinking because of the size of this, this is probably a bracelet. Or it's either a large bracelet or an anklet. I'm thinking it's probably a bracelet. So too small for a neck. But the unusual um, components there put together. We've got uh, bright gold, antique gold, antique copper, uh, sort of an antique silver. Yeah, some unusual combination there. Okay, let's see what we have here in this one. <coughs> Okay, we have another one that's caught. Let's see. Okay. Wow, it's really, really stuck. Trying to find the opening here. Two jump rings decided to get together. <laughs> yeah, in a very tight way here. Okay, I think this is going to require some surgical intervention with uh, some tools. Or maybe not. Wait, 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 wait. I think I can get it off. Yep, there we go. Okay. All right. Ooh, this is... This is nice. This is like a a brushed gold. I just these tags are driving me crazy. Okay, made quick work of that one. Oh, this is nice. I like these little uh, dangles off of here. Nice necklace. There's another dangle that matches up there, but I, it's, I don't think it's a maker's mark. It's just one to match this. I can't seem to get them all to face the right way here. But you get the idea. So, that's nice. It has a little extender up at the top. So, pretty. Okay. And then the one it was attached to... Uh, is uh, the one it was attached to is a nice bright silver tone with tags and it is a Lane Bryant And if you guys know anything about Lane Bryant, you know that their jewelry is a little bit on the pricier side. Okay. Let's see if I can... Alright, so this is... I'm going to shake it so it comes... Okay, here we go. Oh, that's nice! Wow. Might just have to keep this one myself. <laughs> Look at the size of the extender chain on this one. Let's see. Let's see. Hang on a second. I, I think this is hooked in the wrong in the wrong place. I, I think it I think it was hooked in the wrong place. I think it, it's supposed to be hooked up here. There we go. Now that makes more sense. Yeah, it was it was hooked wrong. Okay. So, 
Here we go. There we go. Okay. That's still a very long extender chain. Okay, here's the extender chain. Here's the Lane Bryant. Uh, oops, I had it upside down. Here's the Lane Bryant tag. I don't know if you can read that, but you certainly can read this one. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And here, here is, I'm going to bring this up a little bit here. Here's the necklace. And these little components down here have have rhinestones in them. And then the same up here. They have these little components have rhinestones right here. It's really pretty. All right. Moving on. And it, brand new. Just brand new. Okay. Moving on. We have a few more pieces left from this jar. Mostly necklaces and watches. They're, they're, so far, we've only had one pair of earrings, which is a little disappointing, but that's all right. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one out. I thought this one was premier design, but I don't think so. It's just the uh, it's just a crown, so I'm not sure what that is. Oh, maybe it's Juicy Couture. I bet it's Juicy. Let me look at this closely. It says here on here. Yep. Juicy Couture. Okay. Wow. So, here's, um, let's see if I can get it all in frame. It's a little heart locket. It's not a locket. It's a little heart with a, a little pretend lock on there. <clears throat> and it has the uh, hang tag and then it has uh, the crown in the chain as well and I think yep it has little rhinestones all over it and they are all there they're all there so another nice find a juicy couture very nice okay all right, getting down to the bottom here. Oh dear. I'll save that one for later. It's not that it's going to sit there and untangle itself, but okay. I'm not fond of these that are on the leather cords or the cloth cords, but This is just a little uh, looks like a little flower. First I thought it was a starfish, but I don't think so. And it has a little heart uh, on the bale. You can see that right there on the bale. Let's see if there's a no no name, no mark. No maker's mark, but I would take this off and put it on a on a chain. I think it would be much prettier on a chain. So, just my opinion. Okay, let's see what else we have. All right. And it looks like 
we have another Juicy Couture in here. What a great jar. Yes, indeed, we do. This one is a letter T. And it has the, uh, the juicy, uh, the other one did too, the juicy lobster, special lobster claw. Uh, and this one has also the, I'll untangle that knot later, it has the crown there. And this one is a T with uh, rhinestones. And that's what it looks like. There's the whole necklace. I thought this one might be sterling, but I don't think so. Okay, so that's what that one looks like. So, two juicy necklaces. Cool. All right. Next one. This is different, <laughs> I will say that. This one is, um, if I can get the, get it back on its chain here. I'm not quite, I'm not certain what this pendant is representative of here. Show it. It's so small, I have to... Well... It looks like an elephant, maybe? I see a human form. It's definitely different. I'm going to look and see if I see any marks for uh, silver. I thought I saw something up here on the uh, on the lobster claw. Nope. So this is on a snake chain with an extender. It's different. All right, now we have another one that is brand new with a tag. Very delicate. Very delicate chain. I like the chain. It's by Canvas. Here's the, here's the tag. It says, Define Your Style. And here's the hang tag. It says Canvas. <clears throat> A really nice chain and then it has this little square two-sided uh, pendant on it look pretty with a black top I think so there's that one and then there's uh, This one is by Guess. It's a, a gunmetal, looks like a, a gunmetal snake type chain. Has the uh, the Guess hang tag here. It's just, it's like in new condition. So, and that gunmetal color. And let's see, 
And there's this one. <clears throat> Looks like we've got another one tangled up in here. I'm trying to get this one out. Okay. This one says Kenneth Cole reaction. So, wow, another another good find. I'm liking this stuff from this uh, Goodwill Boutique. This one is a little is is a bit worn though. These discs uh, appear to be a bit worn on both sides. So it was this one was well loved. <laughs> But eh, still nice, you know, has that, that uh, well broken in look. <laughs> anyway, so that, an, that antique brass look. Okay, then we have this one, uh, which, yeah, this one has a, has a broken, uh, I, th I think it was a crystal, a wire wrapped crystal. Here and it looks like whatever it was, it, it broke. But the chain is definitely still good for repurposing. The chain, it's a nice, it's a nice chain. So I will probably take this broken pendant off and definitely repurpose the chain for something, something else. We have one one earring, <laughs> uh, one earring. Uh, it's a Celtic uh, Celtic knot with um, whoops. It's a Celtic knot with danglies hanging off of it. So it's a post. I guess I could break the post off and and make a pendant out of that. I don't know. I have to think about it. Anyway, there's that. Nice earring. Uh, we have another one that's just a single uh, earring. This one, it's a little easier to make a pendant out of because you can just take the wire off and make a pendant out of, uh, out of these. There's a shell on the bottom and wooden beads here. And then the metal component. Nice. Definitely can repurpose that. And then last we have this tangled, tangled mess here. Uh, it's, if I can ever get it untangled, I think it, it'll be a nice necklace. It has this component here and these two spiky daggers with tiny little, uh, like pave, uh, rhinestones and it is by let me see uh boy that is tiny bear with me a minute while i look at this through this stella and dot another good brand but i i have to get this all untangled it's it's just a mess it's just uh, a real mess and I don't want to bore you with my untangling but I think it'll be real pretty when I can can get it undone I, I'm not sure how it lays but I think these parts probably lay down somewhere here with the this piece somehow anyway so that is the uh, the jewelry jar um, so if you if you like this video, please uh, press the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications of on further opening jar openings, which I will be doing. This is a little bit of an eclectic channel because I will be doing jar openings, and since I also do beading and stringing myself, I will also be doing bead hauls and. Uh, bead subscription box unboxings so you have a couple things to choose from you if if jewelry is your thing you can 
watch those. I'll be organizing them into playlists. So if you only want to watch the jewelry ones, that's fine. If you only want to watch the bead boxings, that's unboxings, that's fine. Or if you're into both, then you can watch both. So please uh, comment below and um, bead sparkly. Bye-bye.